really wanted to grow the local food economy at all points. So we wanted there to be more agricultural production happening. We also wanted there to be more local food processing happening. And we really saw the need to sort of work on both of those at the same time. The capital investment upfront to invest in a commercial kitchen is huge. And most small businesses just aren't gonna have that capacity to do that right off the bat. Us providing that infrastructure to them and building the community of support that they need to get going is really what allows them to dream about what they can do and how they can grow their business. Here at the STIR, we call our members STIR makers. The STIR makers, when they come to the STIR kitchen, they have access to our large-scale commercial dehydrators, as well as our kettles and skillets for making jars and sauces and using our semi-automatic filling line. We also have a bit more of a flexible style of equipment, such as convection ovens, gas ovens, gas range, and a deep fryer, so that people can do meal prep businesses, uh, food service, ghost kitchen kind of operations, and catering. The infrastructure support from the Food Hub, it takes away some of the financial risk, but it also takes away the time investment and the knowledge gap that a lot of producers have. We work with processors that they use to work every day in the kitchen, maybe five hours a day, making maybe 40 jars per run. And now they're able to come into our kitchen and scale up to 1,000 jars per day using our filling machine that's semi-automatic. So that way they can take five days in the kitchen to one day in the kitchen and have more time to work on their business rather than in their business. We have so many community partners that this is built off of. So we have our partnership with Community Future Central Interior First Nations, who run the Quisalton Kitchen, which is a mobile processing trailer. And that project is so exciting because it means that we're able to take the vision of the Food Hub out into our rural Indigenous communities and support those businesses to grow where they are. And eventually the hope is that then they would be able to scale up to come to Kamloops and work out of our main stir kitchen when they're ready to do that. We think of ourselves as a food incubator. We're really trying to springboard the next generation of entrepreneurs here in Kamloops that are making local food with local ingredients. And it's, it's not a goal to keep them here forever. We're happy to see these businesses graduate and do their own thing. That's really the ultimate goal. Opening the stir has been one of my proudest accomplishments in my life. And I want to see a community where everyone has enough food to eat that is healthy, local, delicious, and available to them.